We have a warning tonight about a pair of men posing as consumers energy workers in Jackson. The target was a home on the city's south side, but the homeowner says things just didn't add up. Barrett Tryon is has more now on what you need to know to keep yourself from falling victim to a scam. Anytime I've had any people from consumers come up, the first thing that they do, they, they blatantly show you their badge and they tell you why they're here. And it, it was just all the wrong, the wrong sort of lay of layout with those two guys. Mark Boyer says the red flags were there. The taller guy was wearing a, a, a road vest, you know, the, the orange and yellow workers vest. And it just totally seemed strange. He says two men earlier this week showed up unannounced outside his Jackson home. Both claimed to be with Consumers Energy. And these guys acted like they were in a hurry and they didn't have any real idea what my specific situation was. Consumer says he did everything right. At any point, if you have a concern, stop, call us 800-477-5050 or call law enforcement. Report this to authorities because we, we routinely receive reports of scams uh, throughout Jackson and throughout the state. Um, we're, we're aware that people are, are always dealing with this barrage of, of, uh, of scam activity. And with last weekend's tornadoes, con artists try to get clever. We haven't seen anything specific to this particular storm, but it's not uncommon for scammers to try to use different excuses to get into people's homes or get their personal information. So it wouldn't be surprising if someone gets a phone call or gets that in-person visit from someone who says because of the recent storm. And Mark has this advice for everyone else. I've got to have ID and don't don't trust people. Don't let them up, up by your house. And that was Barrett Tryon reporting. Consumers Energy does use contract workers, but even when they have a third party working for them, the company says they'll have decals on the cars and IDs on them. BWL in Lansing says there is also a phone scam happening right now where people are demanding money and then threatening to cut the electricity if people don't pay. Again, that is not real. The electric company says it has turned things over to police.